Bro, all right, bro. What are we about to do right now? Gonna, Where are we? We're gonna feed the snakehead. <laughs> we're feeding the pet snakehead. What? The what drum is that? Stick. A drumstick. Oh, wow. oh. This one's huge. Look at how good this. Okay, we are fishing for snakeheads today, guys. What is going on, Florida Bass TV fam? Today, we've got a super hilariously awesome video for you guys. Basically, it's from the same trip that I just took down to South Florida, where you may have seen the past video where I fish Catch em All Fishing's Paku fishing spot. Um, we did some Paku fishing, um, Miami Peacock bass fishing, all kinds of stuff. We're only down there for a couple days. Uh, me and my buddy Ryan were meeting up and we were just trying to catch as many different species as we can in the limited time we did have down there. So before I met up with my buddy Ryan, I just did a little bit of snakehead fishing myself. And then when I met up with him, he showed me his pet snakehead. So check it out guys. Snakeheads are probably my one of my favorite fish to catch. Um, probably my favorite freshwater fish to catch down in South Florida that I have caught. Um, snakeheads are extremely aggressive and they only do top water frogs and stuff like that. So I've caught them on swim baits. Anything that makes a commotion on top should be good. But I've been wanting to try out this guy, a little pocket frog here. Action on this thing is absolutely killer. So technique that I use to not spook them is cast over the mat and land it on land first so it doesn't make a big splash and just slowly drag it out of the grass. My friend Ryan taught me that and we are actually going to link up here pretty soon do some snook fishing. thickest, nastiest stuff you possibly can find, guys. If you're fishing for snakeheads, just bring a big rod, because that's all I can say. You're not gonna be ready for it if you're throwing any anything lighter than a flipping stick. Yes, guys, I know, <gasps> there's one. I was gonna say, I know for a fact there's already snakeheads in here. I just, I'm not sure exactly what to do about this wind. So guys, there could be anything in here. I'm not even sure what to expect. Oh my God. Oh my, that is a monster freaking snakehead. Oh my God. No. Oh, he's in there. He's in there. He's still on there. Oh my. Holy shoot, guys. Oh, that's my, that's probably my biggest snakehead ever. Thank God I had the 80 pound. 80 pound does the trick. Holy crap. Look at the way this fish crushed this freaking frog. Oh my gosh. I can't even get a grip on him. Oh, he spit it out. He spit it out. You're not getting anywhere. Holy crap. That was the first fish of the day. Look at that bullseye snakehead right there. That's like a six pounder. I mean, this thing is massive. He hit it right in front of me. Look at that. I wish I got a view of that frog in his mouth he absolutely choked that frog. So 
that's massive guys this is my biggest snakehead i've ever caught on camera i think i caught one that was slightly bigger one time but i just want to show you guys how massive this thing is i'm gonna take the camera off my chest really quick but just get a load of that that is snakehead fishing at its finest ladies and gentlemen look at that wow we get a picture and let this guy go this fish is huge unbelievably fast i was only fishing for five minutes if that guys and this guy will be fine he's just tired from the fight because snakeheads can actually breathe air so you can actually pretty much hold them out of the water as long as you need to oh my gosh look at the size of them i literally i literally can't fit my hand around this fish oh gosh don't bite me please look at that Oh my gosh, guys, I don't know if you can see that, but this frog is so messed up from that. The hooks are kind of bent, and these are thick hooks. When you're fishing for these guys, you gotta be throwing the heaviest tackle you can find. This is 80 pound, mono, 80 pound, 80 pound casking braid with the Perigee 2 from Casking also. This is a flipping sick model and the Spartacus Maximus, which is a saltwater bait caster. Guys, I'm not kidding around when you're fishing for snakeheads. Go heavy or go home. This is only my first day here, guys. We've already caught some monster peacocks and an absolute monster snakehead. I'm gonna go back to the car really quick because I need to bend out these hooks because I keep getting snagged on lily pads. This guy really bent these hooks out, so. Bro, all right, bro, what are we about to do right now? Gonna, Where are we? We're <laughs> gonna feed the snakehead. We're feeding the pet snakehead. What, what is that? Stick. A drumstick? They eat drumsticks, dude? Straight up raw chicken, yo. <laughs> I gotta see this to believe it. right there John oh my god <laughs> he's already there I told you, what no way wait let me get it focused on he comes out. how many is like right here this whole pond is loaded the reason they're not all right here is because this guy won't let anyone else eat <laughs> Yeah, cause you never get to look at them. There's a yeah. coconut head, dude. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. There he is. There he is. Yo, yeah, throw it to him. Oh my god. I didn't even get to see it, dude. It disappeared, bro. Hit the water and disappeared. What? Are you kidding me, dude? Love the raw chicken. Oh my god. Wish you could feed him again. I didn't get a good shot of it. I don't think it was like focused or something. Back for more already. He just sits there and waits for your stuff to drop. Yeah, she's nice. Look at the little baby. 
That's crazy. As soon as it hit the water, it disappeared because he ate it that quick. I thought they only ate frogs and stuff like that. That's wild. No, they'll scavenge too. He's right there. Guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It was a ton of fun. We only had like three days down there. This day was what we filmed before the Paku fishing day. I could not believe seeing that snakehead eat the freaking chicken leg like that. Eating the freaking raw drumstick like that. I mean, that's just ridiculous. I didn't think they were like catfish. They would, I've only seen them eat like topwater frogs and stuff like that. that so that was just insane. <laughs> this thing was definitely like eight or nine pound fish. Guys, this video is powered by Cast King. Go Fish Cam and Chase Baits, guys. Make sure to check them out. I have a link below to all the products that I use below in the description for this video. If you enjoyed the video, I do ask you to just leave a like for me. It really does help me out a lot. Uh, comment down below what you want more of and uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already because we are going to 5K subscribers. Almost there, guys. 4,600, getting closer to the giveaway at 5K, guys. Rods, reels, baits, all kinds of stuff gonna give it all away at 5k it's just my way of trying to give back to you guys for all your awesome support kind of a complicated story with setting up a fish tank right now it's going to the nitrogen cycle which is going to which is going to take a little bit of time before i can really add a lot of fish into it but i am going to make a go-to i am going to make a how-to video about all these steps so that you guys can set up your own aquarium as well Till next time guys make sure to subscribe